Hey, beautiful, I see you. And on behalf of Contemporary Living with Farmer and Hill, I just wanted to come in and pop in on your day to talk about something that I was thinking about. And so I was sitting here thinking that we can live our lives and its entirety online. I mean, you can record every aspect of your life online. And, you know, being able to do that, it had me thinking about my own motivations. Now, we know that, that there are two types of motivations. So you have your intrinsic or internal motivation, and then you have your extrinsic. That's how it's pronounced. Extrinsic, which is your, <laughs> which is your external motivation. And so it had me wondering, so which, which one are you motivated by primarily? Is it your internal or your external? Because see, we use them both. So for instance, like when you're in school or when I was in school getting my degree, there were classes that I did not want to take. I mean, I was so uninterested in them. But I know that the extrinsic or external reward or award was to get my degree. So the the motivation was temporal because I knew I had to take that class in order to get my degree. But then there's also, you know, other examples of intrinsic motivation where you just do things because they bring you joy and happiness uh, because you find contentment with them. So like things like spending time with your family or I like watching movies and I like writing and researching and talking about things, especially when it comes to personal development. So those are internal things that, you know, I use on a regular basis as well. But I think where we get caught up at, where we get caught up at is when we have our external motivation dictate how we feel. Feel. So for instance, you won't be satisfied until you have that house or you think you need a man to complete you so you can really be happy or, you know, I won't feel confident until I lose the weight. And we know none of that, none of that is true. Absolutely none of that. But now we live the way the world is now, they make it seem like it's those external things that really define who you are, really define your life, really give your life meaning, but it's really those internal things, but we use them both. And my point is, you know, I really do think that when we make money and things and positions, the single point, like the world's trying to tell you to do, of our contentment, we won't ever be happy. Because those things will never make us happy because you'll always be searching for something outside yourself to give you more, to keep you satisfied. And it just doesn't work. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with having external motivation or internal motivation. But just make sure that primarily your motivation is from the inside, okay? Because you want to make sure you have something to motivate you when you don't attain those goals or you don't get those awards or you don't get those accolades you, you expect. So the next time you post something, I want you to ask yourself, would I be doing this if I couldn't post it? And whether that answer is yes or no, at least you'll know which side of the spectrum you're on, internally or externally. Can you do something fantastic without telling anyone, without posting it, just living in that experience, just enjoying it for the sake of it? That's that internal motivation. So ask yourself that question. Would I be doing this if I couldn't post it? All right? Just something to think about. All right. On behalf of Andre and myself, we thank you for watching this video. And as always, be brilliant. Be you. Be blessed. Bye-bye.